Now that the entire battle pass for Chapter 5 Season 4 has been revealed, it is time to decide which Marvel battle pass is better, Chapter 2 Season 4 or Chapter 5 Season 4. I honestly really like both of these battle passes, so I'm excited to see which one comes out on top. And I actually recently did a community poll on my channel, and it looks like the majority of you voted for Chapter 2 Season 4. So let's see if I feel the same way. So to determine which battle pass is better, we're going to look at these categories. Skins, obviously. Backblings, gliders pickaxes and emotes we are going to ignore the filler garbage that epic loves to put in the battle passes for some reason think of this kind of like a versus battle whichever battle pass i think has the upper hand in that category will get a point and the season that ends with the most points wins but let's get started the skins in a battle pass are obviously the most important part of a battle pass and i gotta say fortnite did a really good job with the skins in both seasons in general fortnite does a really good job with marvel skins so in chapter 2 season 4 we got thor she hulk groot mystique dr doom storm iron man and wolverine so right out of the gate fortnite used some legendary characters for this battle pass and they all look really good in my opinion i'd say out of these skins that thor is probably my least favorite and i really like thor as a character but i would have preferred his basic suit i know that the suit they gave is relevant to the nexus war and the comics that tie into it but his typical thor suit is just so good so i wish we would have gotten an alternate style for it groot was the meme skin for that season but at the same time he looked cool and is a fun skin to use the three females mystique storm and she hulk are all great there's no misses there and i'd argue that their alternate styles are just as good as their base styles they also have very unique built-in emotes but we We'll get into that soon. Fortnite gave us one of Marvel's greatest villains with Doctor Doom, with a more comic classic look compared to this current season. We got Iron Man, and he speaks for himself. The skin is insanely clean, and I honestly like the base style as well. And for the bonus skin, we got Wolverine. With the comic accurate suit, this just screams perfection. So besides maybe Thor, I'd say there's no misses in this battle pass. But if we turn our attention to the Chapter 5 Season 4 battle pass skins, we got some heavy hitters as well, but we also got some underrated characters characters and a couple of surprises that turned out to be awesome. We got Gwenpool, War Machine, Peel Vereen, Captain Jones, Emma Frost, Mysterio, Shuri, and Doctor Doom again, but this time as the bonus skin. Gwenpool is a fun addition because she's a character that has gained popularity over the years. She has a cell shading style, but it can also be turned off, and she honestly has some pretty funny dialogue in game. War Machine is a fan favorite to no surprise. Many people were waiting for him to come into the game. Emma Frost is an underrated character that I honestly wasn't expecting, but I'm so glad I was surprised because she is a clean skin. Mysterio is another surprise as well, and they really did this character justice. The fishbowl looks absolutely insane in game. Shuri is our tier 100 and they absolutely killed it with this one. I love that she got her Zero War comic look, but her Black Panther is easily my favorite in the past, especially with the reactive kinetic glow. And Doom looks menacing this season. He's not as comic accurate compared to the first one, but I honestly like this one a little more. But we have to talk about the remix skins. Don't get me wrong, they did a really good job with these skins, but they definitely bring down the battle pass. I really feel like we should have gotten Winter Soldier and Nightcrawler instead. Those two would have made this pass a 10 out of 10. So because of the remix skins, the legendary lineup in the first pass, also the first battle pass has the better super styles as well, and just the overall better quality of skins, I will be giving the point to Chapter 2 Season 4. Okay, so now we are moving on to the back bling. Starting with Chapter 2 Season 4, I'm going to be honest, there weren't many that really stood out in my opinion. Thor's cape was pretty slick. I really like Mystique's skull, and you can see skulls on her outfit as well, which comes from the comics and of course baby Groot. Do I really need to say more? He's adorable and he's dancing. He's just vibing while chilling on your back. Dr. Doom's cape with the fur, the whole club is looking at him. Looks really cool, but those are the back blings that stood out to me. And Storm didn't even get a back bling from what I remember. Doom's chalice is a cool nod to the comics, but it's boring. And Iron Man's backplate is cool in the sense that it counts how many eliminations you got, but it's hard to match it with a skin that isn't Iron Man. But if we look at the Chapter 5 Season 4 back blings, we have Gwenpool's katanas, Emma Frost's back bling cutters, Captain Jones' shield and pickaxe, the adorable Meowtooth plushie. Mysterio's cape is awesome. Doom has another cool cape. Shuri has a comic accurate cape with the fur while the whole club is looking at her. The only back bling that didn't hit for me was War Machines. Other than that, I think all of the back blings are really good in this pass, so the point for this one is going to Chapter 5 Season 4. The next category is going to be pickaxes, and this is honestly going to be a close one. I think both battle passes have some really good pickaxes. In the first Marvel battle pass, we got Mjolnir for Thor. 
which is amazing but the only downfall is only those that are worthy can use it which is thor of course and i believe captain america can use it as well i think she hulk's hammers of justice is pretty clever group sap axes are fun but the ones i really like is storm's hand of lightning mystique's gilded morphic blades and iron man's mark 85 energy blade the only pickaxe i really don't care for is the staff of doom so there's really only one miss in my opinion and in our current season we got gwenpool's katanas which is always awesome i'm obsessed with katanas so that definitely gets bonus points pilverine's claws are pretty fun emma frost's brilliant cutters pickaxes are really clean i like jonesy's shield and pickaxe i think it's clever and a good way to differentiate from steve rogers mysterio's supernatural pickaxes are honestly perfection they're the perfect pickaxes for him and shuri's spear which i was super stoked about because that's her main weapon in the comics and doom's doom blade pickaxe is a huge upgrade in my opinion it's honestly so hard to decide which battle pass got the better pickaxes but i'm going to give the point to chapter 5 season 4 i honestly love all of these pickaxes besides war machines he's so cool though he doesn't even need a cool pickaxe or back bling all right so now moving on to the gliders and honestly i'm going to get straight to the point on this one it goes to chapter 2 season 4 and here's why not only did we get fun comic art gliders for each character most characters got their own personal gliders as well like thor's mjolnir's path glider where you can fly using mjolnir Storm's Gathering Storm Glider, Doom's Arcane Energy Glider, and Iron Man's Mark 90 Flight Path. These gliders really make you feel like that superhero or that villain. They are the kind of gliders you should get during a Marvel season. And unfortunately, this season fell short of that. Mysterio didn't even get a glider, which is super disappointing. And a lot of the gliders were just kind of basic. The only ones I honestly like is War Machine's Glider, Doom's Glider, and Shuri's. Other than that, I will probably never use the other gliders. So I think it is a no brainer chapter 2 season 4 gets the point which means it all comes down to the emotes and there are really good emotes in both battle passes so this is another one where it's going to be really hard to decide in chapter 2 season 4 we got personalized emotes similar to the gliders like iron man's suit up the victory von doom emote storm's gale force groot's battle brother emote thor's god of thunder wolverine whipping out the claws and she hulk's gamma overload and the best emote and probably the most unique emote in Fortnite history, Mystique's shapeshifter emo where you can shapeshift into a skin that you recently eliminated the one frustrating thing with these emotes is you obviously have to be using the character in game but similar to the gliders they just feel like marvel emotes i think they are the perfect emotes for a marvel season in a way they show you the character's power which is what i want in a season like this but let's not get it twisted this current battle pass has some great emotes as well like emma frost's hellfire dance mysterio's magic trick captain jones llama america pilverine whipping out his claw Shuri doing a backflip while her Black Panther suit forms around her is badass. And it's my second favorite Marvel emote behind Mystique's. And I really like the Doom's Domain emote. I like that you get a tiny bit of voice dialogue and it reveals the island. So it really is tough when deciding which season to pick. But I have to give the point to Chapter 2 Season 4. In my opinion, they are very unique and fit the theme of the season very well. Plus, Mystique's emote is easily one of the best, which helps put that season above Chapter 5 Season 4. Now, you might be wondering about gun wraps in which battle pass I'd give the point to. So for a bonus point, I'd give it to chapter two, season four, but I'm not going to count that towards the total. So for our final results, chapter two season four got three points and chapter five season four got two points which means chapter two season four is the better battle pass but like i said both of them are incredible battle passes both are in my top 10 the first one is just slightly better but who knows in six months i could feel differently about that but thank you so much for watching the video i appreciate you and be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and use code toonspider in the item shop to support me and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace